Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about field strength and fields in a uniform electric field. So let's actually talk about electric fields. Electric fields are made from a charge. So any object that has a charge has its own electric field. And <coughs> we draw it, these field lines will go from positive to negative. So what I've got here is I have got a plate which is positively charged and a plate here which is negatively charged. The field line that the electric field line that this would produce would be going from positive to negative. The reason it is this direction is because our test charge is positive which means this is the direction a positive test charge would go in that field. We always draw our arrows going from positive to negative. Okay? And in a uniform electric field, the field strength is the same no matter where I am in the field. And of course, if you can remember from magnetic fields here, so here's my magnet. So these are my field lines and they go from north to south. The strongest part of my field is where the lines are closest together, which means for a uniform field, these lines must be the same distance apart at all points. So if I was to draw a uniform field, I would have something like this. So within this plate, I have a uniform electric field. which means that E, my field strength, is constant. Now we've defined electric field strength as being E equals force over charge. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to derive a special formula that can be used in electric fields and only uniform electric fields. I know that potential, and in the case of electric fields, you might sometimes see this called voltage, is energy divided by energy divided by the charge. So it's the energy an object has per unit charge. And I'm going to this energy here, I'm going to replace this with force times distance. Now this force here is the resultant force, again. And as you can see here, that there is my field strength. So I'm going to write the formula V equals E times D. So another formula for electric field strength is E is the potential divided by D. This means if I had plus 5 volts on this side and plus 3 volts on this side, I can work out the field strength between these two points. Please notice this, this can only be used for uniform electric fields. Okay, and this is actually quite powerful 
So my field strength is my potential difference over these fields here. And let's say this is two centimetres. I could work out the field strength in this field. So E equals my potential difference. So I'm going from five to three. So my potential difference is two divided by my distance, which is going to be 0 0.02. Put that into my calculator. I get an answer of 100 newtons per coulomb. <coughs> this means, because this is the same all the way through, if I put a charge here, it would feel 100 newtons per coulomb. If I put the charge here, okay, it would also feel 100 newtons per coulomb. <coughs> now, these two are a very different distance from the edge, but let's actually talk about this here. So this is, let's say we'll put it halfway. So the distance between here and here is one centimetre. And because my potential, this is uniform, my potential here is going to be plus four volts. My field strength here, E equals V over D. One. Same field strength. And knowing the field strength is really useful because I can go back to this. And I can work out the force that object is feeling. Okay? So, <coughs> if I take this, let's say this is going to be one nano coulomb. I know that E equals force over charge. <laughs> So 100 is force over 1 times 10 to the minus 9. So my force I'm going to feel that many newtons. And we're going to feel the same amount of force here. Okay. This is much like in a gravitational field. So we say the Earth, up to about the atmosphere, is a uniform gravitational field. This is actually incorrect, but it's an assumption we make. And we say that an object has the same weight here as it has here. We see that the field has got the same field strength on it, but it has, which has the same field strength, which means it has the same force. Okay? So this is quite useful that we can work out the force that this object is feeling. Okay? So this here is a very special case for uniform electric fields that I can use. E equals V over D to work out the electric field strength and then use E equals F over Q to work out the force the object would feel anywhere in that field. So that is electric field strength in a uniform field. <laughs>